Ever since I was a kid, I've loved footy. It's all I ever wanted to do. The passion for this great game of ours is indescribable. That's the thing about footy, it's an emotional force, a binding thread that connects generations and communities. Throughout this series, we've showcased some of the most compelling footy stories right across the country. Yeah. <laughs> Australian cricket fast bowler James Pattinson returning to play for the club he grew up in. Probably one of the most exciting things I've done in a long while, so no, it's great to get a win. <laughs> Big boy McAvoy coming out of retirement to play his first ever game with his brothers. Very glad we've got, got a chance to do that. And yeah, it's kind of like ticked off a bucket list and enjoy their families tonight. Playing together and getting to pass the ball to each other a couple of times and I will never forget that. It was really special. It's um, certainly the highlight of my football journey to date was playing today with, with my two best mates, so never forget it. We travelled as far south as Queenstown, Tasmania, home of the infamous Gravel Oval. We as West Coasters like to think this is the best ground in Tassie, or the best ground in Australia, I think personally. It's pretty well much a six month thing, gravel rush down here, but we love it. Geez, they breed them tough down south. I'm glad I never played there. We celebrated cult heroes, VFL legend, Nick Sortner, who was loved for his on-field antics. That's not missing. He was a goal-kicking <laughs> Goliath. <laughs> Oh, that'll get me a freak. They've won the grand final in emphatic style. And the Gowans twins, who were the backbone of a nine premiership dynasty in the Sandfall. Nine premierships? Are you kidding me? We combined for 600 and whatever goals, and the split is Chris with a few more because he was hungry. He's like Kevin I'll, Bartlett. I think if I played 246, I'd put, kick more than two a game. So that's 400. Oh, James, I reckon I'd kick 300 more than you. <laughs> we headed to the cultural heartland of Barunga, a remote community in the Northern Territory, to watch 63 year old Keith Rogers play his final game. I'm the oldest player playing footy in the country. The young players can outrun me, but if I catch them, they know I've got to tackle them hard and put them to the ground. Still got it, I still got it, yeah. And we relived one of the more head scratching moments when umpire Peter Carey took a mark and became forever a part of footy folklore. Picked it up one hand, as you do, looked inside. I seen Bradley's boyish face there. I thought he hadn't had a kick in the first quarter, so I thought I'd look after him. I kicked it lace out towards him. Fletcher, centering kick. And then for some reason, Peter Carey was in between and uh, took a beautiful chest mark. And the mark has been taken by umpire Carey. What the Carey by name, Carey by nature. What the f***, hey. You want to put a jumper on as well? Sorry, Who are you mate. playing for? Sorry, what sorry. Are you, on? you know what? I would have tackled him. Out there is one of the greatest live theatres in the world. When the umpire throws the ball up, the spotlight is fiercely on the players, scrapping to get their hands on the sheriff. It's intense. And when you're putting your bodies on the line, you're contesting far more than the four points. They're playing for a community. They're donning colours of a footy club steeped in history and trying to forge their own legacy. Yeah, that's it. That's the thing about footy.